What's up guys and welcome back to another review and in this case it's going to be a quick review of the Marvel show What If. So I did have a chance to watch all of the episodes and overall I was kind of impressed with what they did and what they introduced in the show. So essentially it's presenting alternate versions of what we've seen in the MCU films. So what if Peggy Carter became Captain America? What if T'Challa had become Star-Lord instead of Peter Quill? So things like that. And in general, when watching the episodes, they overall were okay. They were well produced, so I'm not going to say that they were any any of them were any better or worse than the others, except for when they went down the line of making Ultron a very uh, an actual villain compared to what we saw him as in um, Age of Ultron. So that was more of a contained version where it's not really, it wasn't really an, like after watching What If, that Age of Ultron, the film, wasn't necessarily an age of him, but more of the rise of Ultron. So that would have probably been a better film. And I think in retrospect, that would make the film a better, or would have better received the film, aside from the usual things of, like, the Hulkbuster being introduced, more of the split between Captain America and Iron Man and all of that. So, what if actually rounds out that in a much better version, because um, Ultron ends up getting all the Infinity Stones, he ends up learning about the multiverse, um, going into the multiverse, being able to leave, and all of that. So it presents a more grand scope of what the Infinity Stones are capable of than what Thanos was doing from saving the singular universe. So even though he had the vision to save his universe, he didn't have the scope to think about multiverses and alternate realities, partly because he probably didn't have that understanding or knowledge or scientific background to make that decision, but it shows how limited in scope and vision he actually was, so it makes the, his whole thing that much smaller. And how much more understanding, for, uh, for example, Tony Stark had um, by traveling through time in... Uh, potentially even like Hank Pym could have had in understanding or accepting those kind the multiverse knowledge. So in general, um, in, I enjoyed What If, and it turns more into another stepping stone as far as um, how it's going to lead into, for me at least, how it's going to relate to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, because we do have Doctor Strange dealing with the Watcher, enough to the point where it looks like they're going in that direction, especially after what we saw in the Loki TV show. So um, there's not really much else to say. So this is just a quick review that I all thought it was good. I'd give it about a B plus to an A minus. Originally, I probably would have given it just a solid B because they were random individual stories. But by the end of the show, they or end of the season, it actually works out nicely because they present the multiverse. They have the Watcher not wanting to interfere, but then ultimately actually interfering. Um, we have an actual Age of Ultron where he's able to take over the multiverses because of his understanding um, as far as taking over one universe and then ultimately hearing the Watcher and learning that there is a multiverse and becoming and from becoming a robot with a, without a purpose to gaining another purpose because he has more universes that he can now um, um, basically ingest or understand and then take out and balance as he sees fit. So that's all there is for this particular review. So in general, if as far as um, a recommendation, I would recommend watching it if you've seen the films and you want and the TV shows and things like that, and if or if even if you're just a Doctor Strange fan, then this is going to be another stepping stone into that. It feels like it's another stepping stone. I actually don't know how they're going to acknowledge that in the Doctor Strange film, but between this, you know, what if and Loki, it definitely feels like they're setting it up quite a bit. WandaVision kind of, kind of sets it up, but it didn't feel like it was as well executed as Loki and What If. Not to say that the What If and Loki were perfect, but it just feels like they were better set up than WandaVision. So for me, it's definitely a watch, but I would recommend at the end of the day watching all three um, shows, TV series, and the original. I guess prior to Doctor Strange 2, I guess watch the original Doctor Strange and maybe um, End Avengers Endgame 
or sorry, Age of Ultron, Endgame, and or Infinity War, and then Endgame. Watch these three episodes, and then um, take it from there. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at Patel N zero one, and the head the website is headphonesneil.reviews for um, all episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.